So now that we have Nginx running as reverse proxy for our Node.js application, as we can see, we see that we have the site running on HTTP and not HTTPS. So let's grab a certificate from Let's Encrypt using CertBot. So this is the thing that is CertBot, which simplifies the operation of getting a SSL certificate for your server. So what I'll do, I'll go to my terminal here, that is my remote machine. So let me clear out and let me exit out as the root user and let me be back as the killer user. So firstly, what you need to do, you need to install SnapD here because if you look at the documentation of SnapD, so if we have a look here, that is for Nginx, we want to get the software and the system is sent to us RHEL8. Oh, we see that the easiest way to get Snap CertBot working on your remote machine is to first install SnapD. So as you know that we already did this in the first or the sec third, second or the third video where we installed all the packages. So if you haven't installed SnapD, you just go to the site here that is to install SnapD. So the installation of SnapD is pretty simple. We already did that. You need to simply choose the distribution here. So you can choose CentOS for this uh, series. And then uh, you need to add the Apple repo. And then you need to install uh, the SnapD package using a DNF instead of Yum because CentOS uses a DNF. And then you need to execute these two commands and then SnapD would be installed. So after doing that, you can follow along with me. So here what we need to do, we need to install Snap, we need to install, uh, we need to install CertBot from SnapD. So we'll do sudo snap install core and all the instructions are provided here as well. That is uh, on the CertBot page also. That is how to install CertBot here. So this is uh, what you need to do. So we see that we firstly, we need to update the version of, or we need to verify that our version of SnapD is up to date. So that's we are doing, uh, doing, uh, do, doing here that use issuing by issuing this command that is sudo snap install core and sudo snap refresh core. Let's paste this command here and that is the second command. And we see that no updates are available. And now what I'll do, I'll simply install CertBot using this command here. That is sudo snap install classic CertBot. So increase the font size here. That is sudo snap install classic CertBot. And now I'll paste this command here and I'll press enter. And now it will download and install CertBot. It will take a couple of seconds or so. And this was the main reason of installing SnapD at the very first time. And while it is installing, let's grab the second command, which we need to issue here. So let's see that what we need to issue. So let's copy this command here that has prepared the CertBot command. So let's copy it. Let's go back. And now we see that CertBot has been installed. That is this 1.17.0. And now let me paste in that command. It is simply makes a link of the CertBot that is installed inside snap bin CertBot to user bin CertBot. So let's do that also. And uh, yep, that's all about it. That is the installation of CertBot is complete. And now what I'll do, I'll install a certificate using the CertBot thing. So either you can follow along on this page or you can follow along with me to make things easier for you. It is better to follow along with me. So firstly, let me clear out the screen. And now what I'll do, I'll simply do sudo CertBot. And then I'll pass in Nginx that is hyphen hyphen nginx to automatically obtain the certificate and automatically install the certificate also inside our configuration file for nightowl.fun. And then we need to pass in the domain name by the hyphen d flag. And then our domain name is nightowl.fun. And the second domain name is also www.nightowl.fun. And beware that whatever domains you specify here, those domains would be valid for that certificate and none of the other subdomains would be valid. Like if I pass only these uh, these two domain names, then the certificate would be valid for only these two domain names. If you were having a subdomain called api.nightall.fun, then you also need to provide in that domain name here as well, like this. But I'm not going to do that because uh, uh, it is not... Uh, required for us and then we need to provide in one more flag that is hyphen n to be non-interactive so that it is automatically installed and then we need to provide an email here for 
important emails regarding our certificate that is if the certificate is going to expire then we should be getting a mail here so for this i'll simply provide in yours truly 2607 at gmail.com that is my email here and then i'll provide in one more flag here that is hyphen hyphen agree hyphen twos that is to automatically agree all the terms and conditions so now let's press enter and let's see that if we are able to generate a certificate for our domain here so we see that we have an error here and the error is likely to be there because inside the domain flag oh, we need to separate it with a comma and not with a space so that was my mistake here so let me reissue that command here and instead of the uh, instead of a space here i need to provide in comma here so that was my mistake here and now hopefully if i'll do enter here then we should be getting a certificate here so we see that account registered requesting a certificate for these two domain names and they would be automatically generated and automatically installed on our nginx server so let's see that if all goes well so we see that we successfully received the certificate here and deploying the certificate is also successful so it, it says congratulations you have successfully enabled https on this domain name so before uh, looking into the certificates let's go here to our url that is nightall.fun and let's try to refresh the page so currently it is not secure and if everything went well then this uh, http call would be automatically redirected to our https server so let's try to reload the page and now we see that we have our lock here and if we click this lock we see that connection is secure and we have a certificate here so if i click on the certificate we see that we have a certificate here with these details that is uh, the certificate issuer is uh, let's encrypt and the common name is nightall.fun and uh, yep so this certificate is 100% valid from let's encrypt and now we have successfully installed our ssl certificate on our server so let's do one more thing that is let's check out uh, let me show you where all the certificates are installed first so we see that the certificate is saved at this path that is let's encrypt live night all dot fun full chain and key saved at this thing here so let's uh, open those directories here that is let's copy this ur uh, this path here and let's cd into that path and uh, it says that this does not exist so let me try to again cd into this directory and uh, we see that permission is denied because we need to be a sudo user so let's sudo and let's go to that uh, let's do it this way so sudo and now let's do ls here we see okay so we need to switch to the root user here so let's do sudo su and now let's cd into that directory that is live and now if i do ls we have we see that we have night all dot fun folder here and if i do ls here we see that we have the certificates here that is full chain dot pem and private key dot pem and this is the actual certificate here that is cert dot pem so we have the certificates here and now let's simply exit out and let's go back as the killer user and let's uh, simply switch back as the sudo user because i want to show you one more thing so let's cd into the hc folder into nginx and inside the conrod directory and let's have a look at our nightall.funconf so we'll see that uh, the this file which was created by us has been managed by certbot and some changes are here so we see that uh, we only did this thing here that is we only set the server name proxy set header and the proxy pass here but this all is included by certbot itself because we use the hyphen hyphen nginx flag so we see that now we are not listening on port 80 we are listening on port 443 and it is managed by certbot and it is an ssl uh, listen here and then it provided the, SSL, the path of the ssl certificate and then this all thing is here and then if we have a look at uh, this thing here that is uh, the server here without the http s then it would be re uh, redirected to the act http s uri as we can see here and if the server is nightall.fun then again we have a 301 that is a redirect to https and the exact same url which was requested on the http thing 
and then we have this thing here so this is all the change or these are all the changes made by the third bot and now let me clear out the screen and let's see into the root folder and now what i'll do i'll show you that whether the third bot auto renewal is working or not because the thing we did or the command we used to install the certificate has automatic renewals also so let's check if automatic renewals are working so i'll issue this command that is sudo third bot uh, not third boy but third bot renew uh, it is like this renew and then we pass in the flag here that is dry run to check whether the automatic renewals are working or not and let's see that if it works so it is simulating the renewal of an existing certificate so let's wait for a couple of seconds so we see that all simulated renewal succeeded which means that your certificate is never going to expire because the cert bot or this let's encrypt, encrypt certificate is valid for 90 days and it makes a timer that is the cert bot makes a timer which runs each and every day to try to renew the certificate if it is going to expire within 30 days so let's have a look at this timer here so let's issue this command here so sudo uh, system ctl list timers asterisk and third bot just to have a look at the timer here so it says that uh, no matching timers have been found so let's simply do sudo system ctl list timers and uh, let me minimize the screen here so we see that we have this timer here that is snap dot third bot renew timer so we see that uh, this timer is also present inside the timers thing here on inside our uh, server here so let's press q and let's clear out the screen once again so this is how we install a, a ssl certificate using cert bot for let's encrypt so in the very next video let's set up nginx as the load balancer and we'll also be installing a module called gzip on the nginx so that our responses are compressed so let's do that in the very next video